All right, guys, it's Rambo 145. We're going to check out this 8520 John Deere tractor. You can uh, put twin wheels on it or dual wheels, open the door, uh, open the back glass, and it has this half naked chick on it. <laughs> uh, and it has a little home ornament right there. Kind of cool. Has weights on the front. Now, if they actually work, I don't think so. I think they're just for looks. Could be wrong because you're supposed to be able to put the arms on the front. PTO arms, but it doesn't show up, but you can hook up stuff to it. I was messing around with it a bit, but I'll show you here. Has air horns. There's the front light. Uh, those. Front and back lights. Works pretty good. You have your twin wheels. Uh, then you have your console and stuff in here, which it's just normal. But see, over here, it says close front arms. Well, there's no front arms to close. It don't really matter if they're closed or not. You can still hook up to them. See, it just doesn't have the animation. And you go back in your console here and click your button and open them. It would be the same thing. The same thing. There's a few things I found wrong with it, but I don't really care. Uh, it's the axle does go right inside the uh, back part of the tractor, transmission housing, <laughs> gear, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> and the uh, smoke up there on the top. It's kind of out on the side, right up there by the exhaust pipe. off a bit it's hard to get that just right though and I think that's pretty much all uh, the mirrors don't work so okay let's pull some stuff with it okay here we go oh it idles up oh that's cool the RPMs go up this one actually plows pretty fast we'll see how it does when I get up on this hill here a bit See if it actually can keep pulling. But it doesn't really plow. What's going on? Okay, so my plow is all the way down. So did I break it? Is it broke somehow? I don't really understand that. <laughs> what is going on? That's odd. What is going on? Okay, now let's try it. That was weird. I don't know what was going on there. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on with the front end? Plow's about four miles an hour, but that's a pretty good sized plow. I mean, that would struggle quite a bit. All right, let's uh, cultivate this. I guess the RPM gauge works in here. And the speed. <laughs> Actually, it works really great. I mean, it's just... Uh, I like the weights on the front, but I don't think they do any good. But you can attach stuff to the front. And you can take and hook stuff to the front of it anyway. So it doesn't really matter, I guess. It's pretty fun though. I mean it's it's a good tractor. Oh no, I just cultivated my oh let's let's cultivate that. This thing has been growing for uh weeks now. I hardly ever play on this one. Here we go. Get a little cultivating. So it works pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you'd uh, want to use this or not because that front end, you know, you can't take the weights off, but you can attach stuff to them. 
But if you don't care about that, that's a pretty good tractor on the... Because it idles up. I like that, how it idles up. That's real life. That's like what you do in real life. Because you really wouldn't be working at a normal speed. You'd work at a higher idle. Most of the time. And you wouldn't use a foot pedal because you start bouncing and you start hitting that foot pedal and it's kind of hard on them. I guess. I don't know. A lot, a lot of farmers don't like you using foot pedals if there's if you're doing something. Because otherwise you over rev them and they don't, they don't like their uh, expensive equipment to be uh, messed up. So yeah. There's the John Deere tractor. 8520. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, hit that like, and share. Thanks. Bye.